one thing is, Babs, they're not going to perform well if they're dressed up. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to really go their hardest if they're dressed up. They ain't going to do that because it's like when you really get in the mud, you got to get in the mud with them. You know what I'm saying? So that would be one one problem. But besides that, the reason people don't put their best foot forward is because it doesn't hurt. It don't hurt. Like, man, that shit that Eric fucking Beasley used to do. Oh, my God. Let me tell y'all. Y'all OK? Let me tell y'all the story. That shit that Eric Beasley, the the pressure, boy, Beasley is a mind fuck specialist, like for real, like no bullshit, right? When I tell y'all, he knows how to make the human dependent on him. He does. He'll know what he's supposed to do, but he'll string you along and play with you. Meanwhile, you're getting ready. For most artists, right, this is the traumatizing side of what Beasley has done to most artists, like all of them. And this is not just me, it's all of them, right? Beasley will definitely play with the money. For sure, he's going to play with the money. He's going to tell you one thing. He's going to tell you it's going to be there. He's going to disappear. Meanwhile, the artist is starting to get ready for the match. He's under pressure still because to get ready, your head has to clear out because this shit is a lot of pressure on a nigga's shoulder. You know what I'm saying? That is a lot of pressure on a nigga's shoulder. So, in them situations, you can't really like you can't without those kind of situations, you can't really turn that shit on. I'm telling y'all, you can't. It's it's utterly impossible because Beasley will play with you. He'll say, Okay, here go the bread. I mean, I I have it this day. Beasley will disappear for two weeks, won't answer the phone. Meanwhile, the artist still gotta get ready. You see what I'm saying? So the artist is under double time pressure. So you cutting his prep time down. When caffeine came along, they were calling niggas 30 days out. They was calling niggas um like under 20 days. Like that's a that's a lot of pressure. So when you go anywhere else, it is gonna feel like a a, a vacation. Cause when you go anywhere else, you're gonna get a lower pay and it's gonna be not even no pressure. That's why they can't do it. Which is crazy. And it's it's it shows us and if y'all don't believe, tag any battle rapper. Tag any battle rapper that you can possibly think of. I see today that K-Shine is coming out saying that Briz turned down 100. That is insanity. I, I, it got to be more to that story. I, I can't see Briz just turning down $100,000. I'm not saying K-Shine is lying because one thing about Gemini, they will say exactly what's on their mind. So I, I don't know. But we got to figure that out too. But that's a, that's a nice check. Three other people shit playing. Like I would, you know, everybody going to go get that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what I was gonna say, yeah, but that's one reason why we can't do it. You know, I oh guys, guess what? I have another viral clip moving around right now, and and what I said was Michael Jordan is not even seen in Jordans. Do you know these dumb basketball playing ass niggas start posting pictures of Michael Jordan on the court? And that's when I said, you niggas, you niggas just need to burn. It's insane. I'm not talking about the nigga on the fucking court, niggers. Do you see Michael Jordan wearing his Jordans in Walmart? Do you see Michael Jordan walking around in the same shoes that you poor niggas walk around? Do y'all understand where y'all at? That's why the clip going viral right now again. That's another one again, right? How in the fuck will Michael Jordan wear the same shoes you poor niggas wear? You explain that. Michael Jordan knows that that shoe cost him $6 each in production. Why in the fuck would he wear it? And he's a billionaire and you niggas is poor. Why? You tell me that. Why would he put his foot in that shoe and walk to the and be in the stores? Why would he? If you see Mike and Jordan's outside of like uh, the court, it's a rare occasion. He's seen more not wearing them. But what does that tell us about niggas? Niggas are dumb. Why would a nigga like that wear the same shoe that you can afford to buy? Why would a nigga like that, who's a billionaire, stick his fucking rich foot in a shoe that he know costs $6 and poor niggas value? Why would he do it? Okay, let's let's simplify. Tag hustle for me. Let's simplify the argument. Let's simplify the argument. People here, I'm sure most of us here has worked at a fast food place at some point in time, right? Did you eat the food after a while? Let's think about that class. 
Let's think about that. Right now, it's a bitch who's rolling her eyes because she's dropping some nuggets in a fryer right now. I'm pretty sure after you've been there for a while, you're not eating the food at the fast food place, correct? How about let's get more technical? Let's get more technical, okay? You're not eating the food at any food place that you work at, right? Is that after you see it prepared, correct or not, niggas? Now, come on now, you filthy, dirty foot niggas. Come on, let's get right. Now, let's, let's think about this. If, if you, some of y'all hoes don't work at Ponderosa and Denny's, any kind of all you can eat, do you eat that shit after you work there for a while? No. So why would you funky ass niggas think that Michael Jordan, who's a billionaire uppity nigga, he likes white girls. He don't be fucking on you sisters, right? See, you sisters, you like the nigga in his Michael Jordans. He don't wear that shit. He fucks on white girls and different other cups. He don't even... Why would he wear what we wear? Like, like, let's let's cut the shit. Like, why... N these type of humans, like a... Okay, let me, let me break it down. Let me break it down more for the stupider niggas in the back. Okay. You have a 90... 9% chance of not having anything that Floyd Mayweather has in his closet in yours. Why is that possible? Because he's a super rich nigga. Okay. Why would a super rich nigga have what you niggas have and be in that most of the time? I'm sure he has some Jordan somewhere in the house. Most of his closet in life is shit that you niggas will never touch. Correct. So why do niggas think they can argue with me and tell me this motherfucker is walking around wearing a six dollar shoe? No, he's not. Michael Jordan does not see the value in Jordans, dumbass niggas. It's a six dollar shoe and he knows it. You niggas don't know it when you go to the store and you spend 180 on the Jordan and then you go sell it to another nigga for six. It's only valuable to poor niggas. He knows it costs six fucking dollars, man. Six dollars? Boy, a nigga can tell y'all anything, boy. That's why I be feeling like I'm on an island by my goddamn self. It's like, why the fuck he know what the cost of it is? Dude, okay, let me ask any of you, uh, you, you hoes with the crunchy gel on your face. I know you like buying your son a little Happy Meal. Have you ever seen the owner's son have a Happy Meal? No, you haven't. Um, the person that designed the iPhone doesn't even allow his kids to use it. You stupid fucking niggas believe that Michael Jordan would step like you. Oh, I can't stand it. The, the, the mindset that our people have, y'all people have, I ain't with y'all. It's so foolish. It's, it's, it's ass backwards. Why? You would never do nothing that he would do. That's like saying you're going to walk through the airport and see Floyd. No, the fuck you're not going to see Floyd Mayweather at the airport, man. You're not going to see Floyd flying with you niggas. Why? That's what makes him Floyd. He ain't you niggas. But y'all think it's E. Stupid niggas. We've been buying that shoe for our entire lives, nigga. Tag Mad Hopper, y'all. We've been, we've been buying that shoe our entire fucking lives, man. Where's the shoe? We've been, we've been buying this shoe our whole entire lives. We've bought it through different lifetimes. We are buying our children the shoes that we couldn't get. And we the only people that think the shoe is valuable. It cost him $6 while he wear it. I love when niggas get quiet. It ain't nothing better than a quiet nigga. Because you know what a quiet nigga is? A jive turkey. Oh, I love when a nigga get quiet. You ain't, ooh. Because guess what? Ain't no maki dadas. Ain't no hand claps. Ain't no, no, no jingles. Nothing, niggas. How y'all gonna beat me at thinking? You won't. Doesn't make sense. The fuck? Do y'all think Michael Jordan, you have the same rug in your house that Michael Jordan has? I'm sorry. You think that your TV is like his? That would defeat the purpose of him being Michael Jordan.
Any one of you hoes ever saw Beyonce in the airport? Hey, Beyonce, can I? You ever saw that? Fuck no. She's a rare goddamn human. So why the fuck would you have what she has? It, it, it. Okay, like, look, like, I'm gonna give y'all an example. Like, I've been in a lot of people's houses, a lot of superstars. Okay, let's let's take Gerald face this, right? None of you, none of us have nothing in our house that Gerald has. No, no matter what you think, nigga. The only, your best option is a goddamn PlayStation or something like that. It, there is nothing in your house that is like a nigga's home. Nothing. 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 Everything that is highest technology, it's not that, man. It's not. That's what, because they have, they live a different lifestyle of human. That's what we're trying to explain to y'all. It's not like what you think, right? We have to start using our brains more with things we say. Like, let's just, let's get right on that, man. That's, that's dumb. We gotta, we as people, man, like, shit. I know it make y'all think crazy. Like, right now at Christmas, it's a bitch right now from the Sucks and Dick. So she can buy her son them white uh, Jordan 11s that's coming out. That came out three times in the last 10 years. And it's a bitch right now who can sell her pussy to get her son them shoes right now. And that shoe costs $6. So any girl that haven't sold some pussy to get her son some shoes, your pussy was six dollars. Your pussy was six dollars, and that was with the box. When I say six dollars, I don't mean just to manufacture the shoe. I'm talking the shoe, the shoe string, the little black plastic that you niggas love, that smell you niggas love, the box, total six dollars. So that's what your pussy was. Six fucking bucks if you had to sell it to get your son some joys. Now how that makes you feel. Oh, of course, he knows that, so he definitely wouldn't do that. Like when we talk about rap or anything, anything in business, when when, someone, when somebody tells y'all to do something in business, you're supposed to do the opposite. Okay, whatever they're telling you to do in business, you're supposed to close your ears and say uh, no. Like for instance, you you niggas would think, hey, that's rallies. What they got a two for big three Buford? Oh, give me a two for three. They got it on sale. They showing love. That meat probably nine months old. Fuck are you talking about? How you niggas gonna know? All you gonna do is fry it, put some cheese on it, and the nigga lick his lips. That's all you gotta do. Put it, fry a motherfucking burger, throw some cheese on it, and the nigga gonna lick his lips and get wet from that shit. Yeah, so y'all think it's a man, hey, they showing some love to everybody. One dollar burgers. Boy, that burger cost them nine cents, man. Fuck are you, you, you think that a, that a company is able to sell a meal or anything to eat for one dollar? How much you think they got it for, Saints? We're gonna teach you niggas something today. If a company can sell you an entire meal for five dollars, right? How much do you think uh, the entire meal is really costing them? Hmm? Like when y'all go get fit twenty wings from a wing stop for what fifteen dollars? How much did it cost them? They probably costed them two dollars for seventy-five wings or something like that, right? Okay, so it's no such things as deals. It's no such things as oh, I'm showing some love that does not exist when it comes to this thing called business. Okay, all right, that's that's not gonna happen. Do y'all do you hoes know how much it costs to manufacture those designer purses that you like? I told a bitch I was fucking with one time. She said, "I want a purse." I said, "Why don't you just design one?" Why would you want to take your, you know, do y'all know how much it costs to do? And what makes it even worse, it's like the price it costs for them to manufacture those purses. And they sell for $5,000, $3,500, $4,000. They sell, us niggas take our monies, right? And go buy a girl a purse as a sign of what? I bought her a purse. Some of these purses are ranging between 4000 to five, it's stupid. I've done it before. It's stupid. Like it is. I ain't gonna hold you. It's dumb. When the smartest e equation is, why don't you build your own? Manufacturing a purse doesn't cost any money for real. But it's good that y'all stay lost. It's a, it's actually better because this is for people that can think today. Like when we talking about who can think. People that can think are going to draw to thinkers. People that are stupid will go around stupid niggas. Like, have you ever seen one smart nigga in a car with six doofuses? No. Have you ever seen one genius on a small-ass bus that go through the school? No. 
why would he be on the bus? Everybody is the same that's on the goddamn bus. Clearly, you're around a bunch of stupid motherfuckers. That's what y'all are. A bunch of group of stupid motherfuckers. Hold on. Let me just get this phone. Stupid ass motherfucking him. I come here and give y'all niggas the education y'all need to no longer be lost niggas. Great. Hold on. Let me get my boy. All right. What's up, y'all? We in here. Okay. What's up? Let me get this chat before I start bringing people up. I see people's hands up and shit. Yeah, hustle, hustle, hustle. Let me see. Um, hold on. Yeah, the Beasley. The thing is, what I'm telling y'all, man, Beasley used to put a lot of trauma on them rappers, man. For sure. Like, y'all don't even know, bro. Like, that's why it, there is really no amount of money that you can, that you can, nah, uh, it's too much. That's why, like, bro, I'm telling you, you, I, I got more peace turning down money this year. I got more peace, for real. Like, what, what comes with that shit is a lot, man, on your mind. And no, nah, that's why it costs. That's why I won't do nothing for just anything. No, it costs. Putting that shit together in your head. No, man, y'all don't understand. Like, for real, a lot of y'all don't understand what people had to go through to get there, man. It's like, nah. Everybody want to go to heaven. Nobody want to go through the hell to get it, though. That ain't how that work. Every girl want to walk around and want her dress to look good from the back. But you hoes ain't willing to go do what it takes. So you can't look at her crazy. What does it take? One or two things. You're going to have to get on that table and go through that pain, or you're going to have to go work out and go through that pain. You got one or two options. Pain brings the, the beauty. There is nothing in life that ain't going to hurt you that it's going to hurt to get there to get to the top of it and make it look like, you know, whenever it looks to, at its maximum, it, you went through pain to do it. You went through a grueling experience to get it. Most motherfuckers don't want to go through the grueling experiences to do anything. They just want you to give it to them. Nah, man, what are you talking about? People be losing themselves for these type of things, man. For real. When Holler said the other day, I mean, last month, he was like, I can't get forward because I got to do evil. Y'all don't know what that shit is, man. Y'all don't know, man. Like, uh, yeah, a stripper is riding around in the bins and shopping every day, but do you know how many niggas grip her ass? Like, sir, do you know how many niggas grip that lady's ass a night, y'all? You know that the probability of her getting a man is, like, low? You don't get joy without pain, people. All oh, y'all know somebody right now. Some people that's listening work two jobs. But you got one of your friends that roll your eyes every time you take a trip. Every time you take a trip, she roll her eyes because she don't want you to live that type of life, but this person is doing what it takes to get it. The dope boys got to get up and sell their dope and risk their life and their freedom. You know what I'm saying? Nobody want to do that. Everybody want to take it. Even That's what any person to do anything. Look what you got to go through to get it. So when you talk about rap, the shit that you got to go through to get it, nah, y'all don't know how many of y'all favorite rappers and put a dick in their mouth. I'm sorry. And, and and when we see them, like if I see them on either side, if I see them in the darkest circles or if I see them in their Hollywood circles, when, when I see them, I'm like, man, you blew a dick to get where you had to go. That shit is real. Man. I promise you it is. That shit is real. Like, And it's like, look, don't, don't y'all think I would have been like stupid fucking rich by now? Yeah, I got everything. Yeah, but I don't comply. I ain't never been a type of nigga that you could say, hey, do this, and then you'll do this. Nigga, fuck you'll do this, nigga. I don't got to do a bitch-ass thing if it's, if it's that. Nigga. But I don't comply. So people that fuck with me and support what I do, they see the defiance. You got, in, in entertainment, you got some ways you can do that. Man. Entertainment, yeah, if you loosen up. Like one of my bros always say, that, nigga, if you would have loosened up, he, <laughs> you would have got there. No, I ain't, I ain't loosening up. I ain't, I ain't that type of nigga. He be joking, and shit. nigga. Hey, I, I ain't even that type of nigga. So, it's, it's, it, it take a little longer. Fortunately, I've been like this, all this type of shit that I seen, I seen probably more shit than ninety percent of humans I ever see. I've done shit that's odd, but 
is it worth everything? It was never worth my soul and my and my uh I'm just gonna go and say it, man. I wasn't fucking, man. Them niggas fucking, man. In any industry, when you start getting to the top, man, you fucking, man. Sorry to tell you, break the news. That's how you stay in the mix. You stay in the mix the more you bust that motherfucker. You stay in that mix. I ain't with that type of shit, nigga. So how do they backfire? What they say is, okay, or his bird, make y'all hate him because I tell the truth. Because I know you niggas is punks. Mm-hmm. Pretending and shit. That's what make me even mad. It's like, man, niggas, man. Man, if I was a nigga that wanted to smile at niggas' jokes and play that bitch-ass game, I'd be so rich right now. But my soul would be gone. I couldn't look past no mirrors and shit. I'm a nigga that like to look in the mirror from when my hair cut. Okay? So, I ain't finna be not being able to look at myself in no mirror for no shit called money that I'm gonna end up losing anyway. No, nah, my soul meant more to me. My, 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 my dignity, my respect, that shit meant more to me than cars and girls. Go, oh, but I want to drive. What's the matter? So that's why my grind is more is more official than everybody else's. Because look, this is what made me successful in St. Louis. What made me successful in St. Louis? Then people knew how, how I went and got it. I went and got it out the ground on all aspects. That's why when you speak about me, they are gonna tell you, "No, nah, do it is really risky." I was outside. Whatever I had to do to get the money, I was gonna do it. I, and I was hitting niggas hoes. Then I started understanding. I know I can rap good, so let's take this money and let's start rapping. So me and my boy was out selling CDs that we sold our product every day with a quota every day. And we rode, we had cars, clothes, whatever we wanted. And that's when that's what turned me out to the world. Like, nah, if you're good, that's something you can sell. It. Once you just find out what you're good at. You find out what you're good at, you can sell that shit in any form. You can sell it in an instruction manual, even if you don't want to do it. Like if it's a girl who know how to suck dick. You don't got to suck dick. Just write it down and tell the bitch how to do it. If one of you niggas know how to make an excellent tuna surprise with your bitch ass, <laughs> write that motherfucking story down and get to them hoes. <laughs> one of you niggas know how to make an excellent tuna surprise with sprinkles, write it down. Put it in a cookbook, nigga. Everybody got a power. Once you get, once you find out what your power is, you just sell that. Shit ain't hard. If you good at being nosy, sell private investigative work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, do that. Hey, I can go find where that bitch ass nigga is. Like shit like that. You know what I'm saying? If you good at that, do that. If you good at anything, like I'm, what I specialize in is the ability. To not give a fuck, I specialize in it. I taught True Fo how to do it. Yep. And soon and very soon, it's going to be another one. Wow. Yeah, but no, nah, man, whatever you're good at, you take your money and you sell it. That's it. Shit can be easy, shit can be hard, man. All you got to do is just try, nigga. So... I would say this. This is what I would guess first. Okay, if it's a if it's a circle of five of us, right? Whoever got the best idea, the other four people should back it. Yeah. So if it's five of y'all, right, your friends or something, and one of them hoes can make a a lemonade that's so sweet as nectar. Okay. So how do we all back the lemonade nectar lady? We get her to her, and then we back the next thing. But then you got to think how many people is like that in a circle and is anybody patient? You need five team players to win. That's, you, you need team players to win anything. That's a championship. That's whatever. You They have to all play a certain role and be willing to die in that role. A lot of niggas ain't team players. A lot of niggas is just humans and they want themselves first. Sometimes you can't go first. Sometimes you can't go first. I learned this on both sides. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when, like I'm telling y'all, listen, the, the, the 22, the, I'm sorry, 23 through 24 has been my most wildest, my wildest years I've ever seen. I've never seen this much shit at one. 
I never seen like this many changes, this many weird things happen in my life. But it's because I have to see it though. I gotta see it. Which is cool. Because I, I, I've learned to walk in my purpose. My purpose, I don't give a fuck what no nigga feel about me. I don't give a fuck what any of you niggas think I should act like. My system don't tell me that. So we need the same type of car. Can't ask no motherfucking 1985 Chevy Caprice to rev up like a Tesla. Shit, you asking, you asking for a snake to walk. It ain't compatible. Whatever my system tell me to do and say, that's what I'm following. Nah, not following another motherfucker's thought, rule. I don't give a fuck. What am I and say? Because you spend your life, you'll say, all right, I, I try to like balance out what other people feel like, or it's not my design. My design is not to care what you feel like. What did I do though? What did I say? Once you understand that, you understand who you is, you could do damn near anything in your life. Anything. You just got to know this is my purpose. Got, my purpose is in rapping, it was creating. But my main purpose is to be bold enough to speak. Be bold enough to say exactly what I told you to say. Because a lot of y'all ain't bold enough to even say the shit I say because you live in fear. I don't live in fear. I live in darkness. The mind, my mind is like a cave for real. But it had to go that way to get this way. That's why I would be an excellent president. For real, I would. Because I wouldn't give a fuck what anybody thought about it. To walk around and not give a fuck is a skill beyond skill, people. I don't think y'all understand. To not care how the next person feel, how the next person feel about you standing next to you is like, because most humans want what? Acceptance. They want to be accepted by the people. I don't. Anything people accept fails. I don't want to be accepted by you niggas. Reject me. As much as you like. Fuck him. Good. Turn it up, nigga. Anything niggas accept in dies or loses everything. You don't do that. I don't give a fuck what niggas accept. And I'm the only nigga <laughs> except a lot of y'all technically that think like me. I don't got no fear, y'all. Say what I said. You a pussy. Shut up. Leave me be. Because I ain't going to go fucking with you. When you start, you start. I'm going to give you the most logical answer. Period. Because I, I don't care about what you think. So, like, no. Nah, never did. Ain't never been my style of play. Because it, it don't add up. Bird, bitch. If you don't knock it out, that's the devil. Look. That bird in the background is the devil. He's like, stop telling them. Hey, devil. They ain't going to hear you anyway. These, these humans, devil. That bird in the background was like, stop it, stop it. Man, these motherfuckers stupid as hell. They ain't finna listen to you. Fuck are you from? <laughs> Goddamn, all this, my reminding my motherfucking business. Goddamn bird just gonna come up here and just start barking. I don't know birds bark. That's the kind, I know I'm a different human. Shit, I stand outside of bird barks. Fuck is you talking about? That's, that's, that's the kind of power I bring out the system. Bird just got confused and started barking at me. You leave these humans, man, these motherfucking humans down, man. Mm -mm. Human don't listen. It follows its own instincts, and it dies. A human will follow the masses. If we, if it's an apocalypse, right, I'm, it's two types of humans, right? One type of nigga is going to run where everybody else is running. Me, I'm going to take a shot a different way. I got a better chance along with it with you niggas. Because if all y'all are going there, it can't be safe. Because if it was safe in the first place, why would all the niggas know about it? I'm sorry, I'm just brilliant. If I see a bunch of niggas walking into a, a area, it's too accessible. That's wrong. We're going to go this way. Because all those niggas will be eaten, I'm sure. By whatever we're running from, we'll eat them all. And you're going to bring all the niggas to one spot, and all the niggas will be chopped and eaten into pieces. We will live. As soon as I saw a bunch of stupid niggas and little 
terrible hoes and people running in a direction. I would have grabbed my tribe of humans and said, whoa, thou are wrong. We Ye walks this way. Mm-mm. And I bet you we, we make it. Simple logic. Niggas don't give each other. Niggas don't pull a helping hand. So if I see a bunch of niggas getting in somewhere together, that can't be a good thing. No. A bunch of niggas all running in. Shit, not us. Let them niggas die. Because that's all that's going to happen. Wherever they running in for shelter, we're going to go somewhere else. Uh-uh. Because the bomb's going to hit that building. Trust me, man. Y'all, y'all do listen. Y'all can learn this gospel, man. This shit is forever. You know what I'm Because it ain't no more humans like myself. That's why I know it's like what it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't walk in fear. I don't walk in hope. I just walk. Whatever is going to happen, it's going to happen. Whatever is the design, is the design anyway, though. Our whole lives are already designed, people. Today has already been rolled out. So, I don't, there's no point of for me walking around and worry, or No, just walk, nigga, whatever I am. Shit ain't hard, man. I seen too much. That's why I'm ready to, they ready to do what I got. Man, when y'all see what the pie gonna do, and y'all finna see how many of y'all I don't know no more, man, it's crazy. Y'all know I'm like groundbreaking, right? I go everywhere. I, I do thunderous numbers. I borrow it all. Time. Y'all know y'all that, right? I know. Watch how many of y'all I'm finna not know. You see how honest I am? That was an honest thing to do. You know what I'm saying? That was a really honest thing to do. But I told y'all ahead of time, though. Can't wait to sell a I hate nigga shirt. Fuck it, man. Shit, ain't, no, ain't nobody else did me wrong but niggas. Fuck is you talking about? I ain't never had no static with shit. Nothing else. Just niggas. Think about it in y'all lives. Who have you had the most quarrels? And encounters with Negroes. Fuck, I want to be cool with y'all for. Y'all stupid niggas. Y'all violent. I'm at the end of one, y'all gonna try to kill me. Or I'm at to kill y'all. Nah, I recommend it. Get away from me. And now I'm looking at a, a, a caterpillar that is like flying. I know y'all would think he's probably hanging from something. But this nigga, this is crazy. Or is it this weed is excellent? Cause something ain't adding up. I'm like Alice in Wonderland. I heard fucking with you niggas or something. I'm like, fucking wrong with that. Man. You niggas. Yeah, energy is wrong. I mean, just fuck up. I, uh, shout out to everybody. Y'all on the you know. And today's show is sponsored by Tom's Cookies. They have the brand new bacon and ranch chocolate chip cookie with cheese on it for all niggas. Fifty nine ninety five. We need your advertisement. Get in my DM. It starts tomorrow. You hear me? Niggas. <laughs> I said a bacon and ranch chocolate chip cookie with cheese on it. And one of you bitch ass niggas licked y'all lips. <laughs> you, I, hey, look. All the, all the ingredients I named, I named them on purpose. Because I knew all you niggas was going to like one overwhelmingly. Out of all those ingredients I just used. Every nigga likes one over women. Bacon, ranch, chocolate, chip, cookies, cheese. All you niggas didn't even hear it. It was a mess. You niggas licked your lips. Like... <laughs> and guess what, nigga? We selling it in barbecue. <laughs> Hey, niggas, it's going to be a barbecue flavor. <laughs> a barbecue flavor. Bacon and ranch chocolate chip cookie with cheese. <laughs> and you niggas getting up to buy that. Hey, I wonder why our parents and shit, like, they didn't even know any other kind of, like, foods for real. It's like, why do we know all the same foods? Chicken wings, ground beef. 
stereo. Okay, let's let's play a game. Everything I'm naming, you should have grew up on it. Chicken wings, ground beef, cereal, spaghetti. Boy, them cousin hoes and TTs always making spaghetti. Boy, y'all, every auntie or cousin bitch can always make making some goddamn spaghetti with meat in it. Well, I tell you, so spaghetti, monster choli. That's what you niggas used to call it, monster choli. <laughs> Um, those type of things, barbecue, we all have the same type of food. Why do we all grow up on the same type of food? Why didn't niggas taste buds crave avocado? Uh, like, why didn't we crave? Like, that's crazy how we don't even think, right? Each human craves a different taste like a mexican taste bud diet is what chimichanga burritos soft tacos guacamole sauce they crave that off the giddy up niggas crave what greens macaroni cheese chicken shit that's what that develops our brains too that's why our brains are the lowest but guess what you niggas can do? Y'all can always hum some Negro folktale, can't you? You can create a little tune, can't you, nigga? All the niggas can create a little tune, can't they? A little autistic motherfucker. The food is what controls our mind, people. It's the food. I'm telling you. You niggas know how to make y'all a little, little crafty little tune. Little, do a little song. Do a little dance. Sing a little, do a little song. Do a little dance. All right. All right, girl. Good morning, man. What's up, Drew? Good morning, man. You know everything you're saying is wrong, right? Why do you believe that? Uh, because I'm black and my kids didn't crave it. Ah, uh, we, we know why. Wait, 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 wait. We know why yours well, didn't. Well, you can't just you can't just put that on black people or Mexicans. Whatever your kids crave, what you give them. All right, so check this out. It, they're not, babies don't come out and just say, "Oh, I want this type of food." No, it's you them. you were not. You are not going to make us eat certain foods. You are not going to stuff guacamole sauce. Why do why okay, why do you think black people talk on rhythm, then, Gerald? We're the only straight species that talks on rhythm. Why? That's our natural Everything thing. Pass down is generational, man. Okay, so we ain't had no white boy that can jump high and dance good. We ain't why saw just know? we ain't saw okay, so that's what I'm saying. We are we there, we're the only are white boys who jump high. You ever heard of Rick Barry? He won the dunk contest in the NBA. He don't talk on rhythm. Can he, he jump don't, high? He don't. He don't talk on rhythm. Can he, he don't, jump he, he high? Don't, he don't. He, he don't talk on rhythm. I'm talking about talking on rhythm. Nothing you can do about that, man. He would never. You say just said, can he jump? You said, can he jump high? Yes. Are the I mean, white boys that can dance? Yes. They didn't crave chicken wings, macaroni and cheese, and um. Dumpling. How do you they, know that? They don't eat that. How do you shit. know that? They don't eat it. You don't know what they eat because you don't know what's passed down to them. Baby, right, they don't just crave certain foods. I'm glad you walked in. You know what I said to the people earlier? I said to the people earlier. I said, Probably I'm stupid. No, no, this is the truth. I said, because what the discussion was, I said, I was telling the niggas, Michael Jordan doesn't even wear his shoes outside the court. Right? He doesn't for real. Go look at the pictures of him. He doesn't wear it. And I was explaining to the niggas, why would he wear it? And he know it's a $6 shoe. And y'all think it's value. Why would he? And then I got to the second point, Gerald. I said, there is nothing in Gerald's house that's like in anybody's house that's here. I said, do you think you're going to have the same anything as Gerald outside of a PlayStation or some shit like that? Why? Okay. Should I start? Okay. I'm sure, sure the yeah. I'm sure the rugs in your house are a different type of that's not just like some weed. Okay, I bet everybody right. I bet every <laughs> no listen. Let's let's do it. Since you know my house, I bet everybody in here shop at Target, I do. Wait, hold on, sir. Hold I on. I bet hold everybody on. in here shop at Home Goods, I do. Okay, Gerald, you're going too okay, far. Then. All right, all right. No, so Ger- all right, so let, let's talk about all right, so let's turn it down. Let's just turn it down. Eighty percent of my clothes right. come from Target. Okay, Gerald. How many people in your house, right? I'm just going to take your house. What is the percentage of your house that most people will not have this exact thing in their house, girl? What is the, the percentage, percentage of the girl? stuff in my house? Right. Okay. Why would you? Why right, would 50. Okay. No, Gerald, listen. I'm going to say why it's more. Okay. I'm going to tell you why. All right. Because you're financially not a regular human, 
that eliminates okay. you okay. Wait, man, from regular you, No, no, things. no. You can't tell me. Okay. okay. You're going to talk for me Fuck. or you're going to let the person who has the money talk? All right, let's do it. Go ahead. Let's get do it. Do you know why I have so much money and why I keep my money? It's Where because I live like I don't have it. Okay. Cool. I've been at your house. I don't spend just to spend. All right. I don't all spend right. money just to just because I can. Okay. If I can find something that looks good, that looks just as good, but it costs the it costs less, then that's what I'm going to okay. do. Okay. We're saying we're saying the same thing just two different ways. I apologize. No, we're not. No, 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 no. This is what I'm saying wrong. I'm saying the features is what I really mean. Like, okay, like that's that's okay. nothing but that's okay. nothing but having style. You okay, can, no, 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 gee. Listen. Home goods, home goods is a regular store. Home and that's goods my wife is not gonna get the basketball stuff. court in the back of your house, nigga. No, it's not. Home goods is not giving you a basketball court in the back of your fucking house with lights and shit and the water fountains and shit, man. What are you talking about? I'm saying that does okay, not Okay, but the stuff okay, but the stuff inside my house, the stuff inside my house. That that's something that I bought that was already there. You I have a tropical rainforest, nigga, in your house. I what the fuck are you talking get, about? No, I, no, I don't. Man. It's not. No, wait, don't. wait a minute. Hold on. No, I don't. What is water and exotic plants so and people, exotic fish, nigga? So there's not regular. That? So there's not regular, people, there's not regular people. There's not regular people that no. can buy a house that has no. a pond behind it. Yes, they can. What are Girl. you talking about? Girl. Yes, they can. You have a whole Karate Kid three scene outside of your fucking house. You have kimono dragons. You got. Kikoys. Hey, you have vines and I don't uh, have none of that you talking about. Boy, it looks enchanted as a bitch outside of your gym. I don't what have the none fuck of that are you, you talking about. You're telling me you're you're not being honest, man. You're not being honest. I'm being extremely all right, honest. All right, all right, all right, so all right, all right, so tell you tell you what, tell you what. All right, I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay. Um is the technology because you paint you paint a horrible picture for these people. I'm painting a great picture for these people. No, you're not, no, you're uh, not because you're making it seem like you're making it seem like oh, this stuff is unattainable. Or, no, I didn't never say that. Not That's not what that. I said. I said ninety percent of people will never see that. Is what I'm saying. I, I, that's why I'm telling you we're saying the same thing. I'm saying yeah, the but thing, then, but then you you follow it by calling them niggas and saying they eat this, and eat that. Okay, but you ain't gave no solutions. Okay, listen, you brother, just tear them down with no solutions. Uh, okay, yeah, You're everybody, every, everybody that been here, have I been giving y'all solutions? And yes or no? Did I give y'all a whole theory? How all you need is five friends that believe in one thing and one thing. Did I give y'all that whole theory? Because he thinks that I'm just this monster, and that's not accurate. I've been here talking to. I've been high as a test pilot, man. I've been talking to these people. Very, very appropriately, man. I mean, giving them game today, not giving them rage. But at the same time, you're not going to give them the image that is not a rainforest outside your gym. It is right. a, it is an exotic What's rainforest that? outside your gym. Not, it is, man. Called, I'm looking it's, for called, it. it's called a koi pond, man. A koi, okay. A is, koi it, pond. is it, okay. Now, let me ask you something. I'm glad you said that. Is your koi pond the size of, I don't know, a Michael Jordan tennis shoe? Or is it the size of a living room in a house? My koi pond? Well, it's, like yeah. a little, it's like a little pond. It like a little big, compa- big do, you, do you have a football big, field big area? Enough. Do you have a football field area, Josh? No. What okay. Do you have the oh, machines man. that can throw all this stuff? Okay, all right. yes. I had to buy that. That's at anybody's right. house. You can buy that. You can get on Amazon and buy that right now. Okay. Do you? That, okay, Jero, answer this for me then. How many humans here? Is going to have a housekeeper that is overjoyed for her job. I mean, if you can pay a person to clean your house. Hello, that's what I'm saying. Do you see what I'm saying? No one will ever. If people, we see housekeepers, they're never happy. They come around, they be like, "Yours, man, she damn near shoot." Yeah, that's because I. That's because yeah. I create an environment that that people yes, he are does. happy to be in. Yes, he does. Absolutely. We talking about Nicki Minaj. Her, she fired her housekeepers for talking to her. That's the difference. It's about the person. Did she? My housekeeper come. Yes. She fired her housekeepers for speaking to her. Her housekeeper seen her. I think they asked her for an autograph or something and she fired her. It's like, come on, man. Are you that's serious? not that serious. No. It's not that serious. It's about the work environment. It's about the people and who you are, how that's you treat horrible, them. Man. My my housekeepers, they get bonuses like every other job. My housekeepers get gifts for their birthdays. If we do a holidays and my housekeepers are around, they get gifts. It's about the person and the environment and how you treat them. That's why my housekeeper smiles so much. For like her birthday, it. you know what we did? She it. likes to go to Disney World or Universal. We got her a year subscription to Disney, to Universal. 
That's why she likes coming around. And her vibe is like always she's... cool, though. She yeah, you know cool. why? Because it's yeah. how you treat people. It sure is. Yeah, she hella cool. We don't treat her like a worker. Yeah, for sure. She hella cool. Like, like very cool. And she she treats you like she's been knowing you for help. My Ellis, too. She do. She don't even yeah. like... like yeah. It, Carolina, it's, she's part of the family. It's, 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 like, she, she act like... Hey, y'all that don't know what I'm saying is, like, it's a warming human. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she'll never make you feel like... Weird or nothing. That's it. That, so that's accurate. I would say that's accurate for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I would say that's one hundred percent accurate. All about how you treat people. Like if you, even if you work at a, your average place, if your supervisor or whatever creates a great work environment, you ain't gonna mind going. Because if you go and you having a bad day and you got a supervisor yeah. that come check on you, like, hey, you not you not yourself today. Anything going on? Yeah, for sure. Can I help you with something? Then you ain't gonna mind going to work. The ones who hate going to work is the ones. Supervise all angry, the workspace is terrible, the environment sucks. Mm. All y'all do is argue all day. You don't that's it's about the work environment. Mm. That makes sense. And I, I fully agree with that, because I've seen it with my own survive. It is about it is about what you put it around. I think that's what you do with any human though. Whatever environment they're around, that's what they're gonna become. And that's what I'm saying about the foods. What That's what I'm saying about foods. When you introduce foods to your children, like you have a, a vegan or a vegetarian, and that's their lifestyle. When they have kids and they introduce that lifestyle to the kids, that's what they're going to eat. My kids have friends who at school right now are vegetarians. All they eat is vegetarian food. That's just what they eat. Black, white, all of them. It don't matter. Whatever your parents do, Whatever you introduce your kids to is what they're going to do. They don't know because when they're babies, they just eat what you give them. You don't crave they Kool-Aid? Just crave, they just crave food, 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 food. What? You, you ever had Kool-Aid before? Of course I have, man. I ain't been in this lifestyle my whole life. When I was asking you, you've had Kool-Aid. So do you, you've drunk it in this lifestyle because you still crave it, right? No, nah, at times, but I at times, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You crave it because it's it's in naturally in your gen- genetic to like it. It's because I've had it before. But if right. you've never had it, you're not gonna crave something you've never had. Is there, there any niggas sense? in the building who don't like Kool Aid? <laughs> Do you? Okay, okay, okay. Question. Since, no, since this is what we're doing. Have, <laughs> Do you do have have you do you uh you smoke weed right? Yes, yes. you do. Okay. Yes. Do you no. want to do cocaine or heroin? No, no. you don't. You know why? Because you've never done it. The same thing with food. If I've never had a burrito, why would I want it? It don't make sense. You ain't the kids want what we give them. You ain't adventurous though. Are you adventurous? Do you want to do heroin? No, I don't. Okay then. So what are you talking about? That ain't my. But but we ain't gonna act like people don't do pills and shit. Everybody, these it's just a new era of drug with pills. That's a that's a heroin form of pill. Like everybody, that's them, not me. Okay, but why do they want to do pills? Because somebody's telling them, "Hey, you should, hey, this is doing this and this is doing that. And this is the, if it's never introduced to them, they won't know. They won't want to try it. They won't crave it." Have you Kids ever got families who crave? Like it? What you ever got introduced to something and said, "Okay, I just don't like it." Yes, right. So that can happen too. Okay, but it has to get introduced. You're saying, why do we crave these certain things? Because culturally, Mexicans eat certain foods, blacks eat certain foods, white Americans eat certain foods, and then you just pass it down, pass it down, pass it down. At some point, you're going to have people like my family. Because I lived a different lifestyle once I made it to the NFL, we started eating different foods. So now my kids crave different foods. My wife, she's a very good cook. She doesn't cook your traditional uh, but African American black food. She cooks different stuff. So now my kids crave different things. It's because that's what they were raised on. Do any of your kids crave a snack that you like the same way? Yes, they do. Yes. yes. Right. Okay. So you're gonna have that because it's genetically passed down. I'm sure. Right. Your yeah, daddy. Your I'm, dad I'm, loved I'm caramel. Introduced it to him. No. Your dad loved caramel. You love caramel as much as your. No. Dad. That, you, you know like why that? they like caramel? You know why my kids like uh, zebra cakes? Is because it's my favorite, and I've let them have it. Now okay. they like. Oh, I like okay. this. That doesn't mean that if I never allowed like them that, if I've never allowed them to have a zebra cake, they would never crave it. Okay, but you can't. Why would them? they crave something they've never tasted? Ahead? Okay. All right. So it's does, passed down. So do they? Somebody all has like, to break the cycle. Do they all like zebra cakes the same way? Yes. Okay. Do you know it's possible that one didn't like the zebra cake? 
Because it's, it's food. If I'm sitting with, here telling you all of them like it, then why are you telling me there's possible one? Oh, okay. Like what, what I'm saying is there are things that my parents like that I didn't over like. You know what I'm saying? But there are some things that I do like that's like, yeah, I do like that too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But if you've never had it or tried it, they never showed it to you, would you crave it or, or want it? I think when you're introduced to it, your, your cylinders will click and you'll say, When you're what to it? When you're what to it? Introduced. That's yeah, all I'm saying. That's what we, it has we to be said that earlier. You know? We said that earlier. I said that earlier. You're right about that. You got it. Yes, Go that's what I'm telling you. you said, but you're saying where you said this is our natural design. It's not. It has to be introduced to so it. So why are y'all niggas run fast and jump on you, girl? That's genetics. That's not food cravings. All that's right. different. Why are Mexicans some of the most toughest boxes to deal with? Because that's what they do in their culture. They box. They mm -hmm. teach a different style of boxing. We don't do that. All right, we please. teach athletic, jab, get out of here, do this. They teach attack, 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 throw a million punches. That's their style of boxing. That's why it's called the Mexican style of boxing. Yeah, okay, so let's go to Kung Fu then. Now, so what, do you think if, if a Kung Fu, they have to find a fighting style based on their genetic. If they had our genetic, you think they'll be doing that too? They don't have to find a fighting style based on their genetic. They go to which ones they like. No, they go to which one they like. That's not accurate. Yes, it is accurate. That's not accurate. Okay, where did you grow up? Did you why grow you, up doing Muay Thai? Why you did you grow so up fast? around Muay? Did you grow up around Muay Thai? No. Did you grow okay, up then that's where I went. Why you run? Did you why grow you up run, doing so, kickboxing? Why you so strong? Because I lift. I work out. No, all no. Why are you naturally so strong? You had to be I wasn't naturally, naturally strong. Okay, no, actually, I wasn't. You still, no, go, I wasn't. You still gonna naturally be six five, right? Bro, my dad is five five Your dad ten, is, and my cannot, mom is five nine. You can, and I'm six five. There is nothing you who, can do. Who for can being predict six, that? Five. Okay, there's nothing you can do being six five, right? Okay, okay do you know? Do you know? Big. Do you know a six? Do you know anybody six five that ain't good in sports? Yes. Okay then. So what are you talking about? Well, That's well, me. All right. That's what the I, work I put in. All right. What I'm telling you is naturally, genetically, you still were gonna be a bigger nigga than everyone else. Yes or no? Does that make me better than everybody? How many no. Six, five Asian men get born a year. Is that a high probability or a low probability? What does that mean? What does that mean? Genetic Being born a certain size, genetics makes you a size. It doesn't make you good. I didn't say you it had, doesn't make you good. We're not talking about being good. Listen, okay? listen to we're me. We're talking listen about being biggest. You're talking about stronger than everyone. What does that mean to anything that has to do with production? Okay. I did not run a fast forty time. I okay. did not lift a lot at the combine. I did not jump high. I you still had to have You know something. why? Because I'm good. I practiced and trained at what <clears throat> I did. Okay. Had nothing to do with my genetics. All right. So check this out. Do you know we're talking? We're, you're talking about with humans of your kind. To the regular human, you naturally are going to do everything stronger and bigger than us. That is to the regular human. Okay, what about, about what about what about Steph Curry? He's still an irregular Curry. human. You understand? No, his shooting is irregular. Okay, Steph Curry is a regular, he, average walking dude. Basketball it's, playing ass niggas have an athleticism that is very high. They have to start off with something more than the normal human has. Okay, and, and, and Steph is one of those. Yeah, Steph is abnormally athletic. He's more athletic so than you've us, never. Nigga. He's more you've athletic. Never than us. Seen, no, he's not, bro. Yes, no, he not. fucking no, is. No, he's not. No, what Steph is is extremely oh skilled. You think he's Steph Curry is skilled? Why did he pick basketball? Then? Because his dad played. Because he's athletic. That's why he picked basketball. Okay, most black, be, most black people are athletic. Them Most basketball black people are athletic. playing ass niggas are athletic way more than a normal human, man. What are we talking about? That's why they get to become pros. Okay, there's a reason I use Steph Curry. Steph Curry is not, he's not 6'6", six, 6'5", six, six, okay? I don't care if he's listed as 6'3". I've stood next to Steph. He's not 6'3". All right? Steph is not overly fast. Steph is not overly strong. He's overly skilled. He's, he's overly more, skilled. And more athletic than the regular human. That's why he's in the Okay, NBA. so you've never seen you've never but, seen you've never seen other black guys that are just as athletic or more athletic than Steph that didn't make it and can't do what he can do. No. You've never seen that? No. All right, man. All right. No. You, you, do, you do not right. see that, man. Okay. No, okay. you do you not. Got, he more athletic. Okay. If he was more athletic than that nigga, he'd be in this spot, man. No, he's he, not, man. He's see, not see, even that's, more that's, athletic than this nigga. That right there, and that right there is a loser's mindset, and that right there is why a lot of people don't make it. That's not because y'all think that is a loser's mindset because you think 
oh, he's more athletic. He should be here. No, that's not what that means. If Steph Curry is more work athletic to... than a regular human, yes or no, man? Regular human. I said athlete. Okay. I'm talking about the regular niggas, man. I'm not talking about y'all, man. Okay. Yeah, re- regular regular people don't play sports. That's why, that's why they don't do it. But the guys who do play sports that are taller than Steph, that can jump higher than Steph, that are faster than Steph, there's a reason they didn't go as far as Steph. They're not as skilled as he is. You know why? Because he put the work in. Clearly. Stop sitting here selling people. They all that, work oh, together, you, girl. Stop sitting here. Stop sitting here telling people that. Oh, you more athletic. You should be doing this. You should just because you six five or what? That don't mean you should do that. You gotta put the work in. Yeah, he better try. He better try. Right. He better fucking try. If I have a kid and he's six six, you better try. You yeah, try. Okay, and then and then and then if you grow up and be Ben Simmons. Because you got pushed your whole life to do something that you ain't, you don't really have the heart to do. Because when somebody ain't pushing you or making you do it, like you just said, you better try. You got to at some point put the work in yourself. You got to love what you do so much that it doesn't matter what happens. I'm going to die for this. How much money at some do you think point, it has made? to be? What does that mean? That means everything. Okay. That's how, what, that's how, what much, money, how much money do you think? How much money do you think? Horrible mindset. Ben Simmons just changed 10 generations of his people. That's not a horrible okay. mindset. He it won. is a horrible mindset. He won. What are you talking about? It doesn't it's matter. A hor- it's a horrible game. mindset, man. He cha- it's a horrible he, mindset. He has changed ten generations of humans. You think he should get? He, man, y'all crazy, man. <laughs> he is done, okay. Let me ask y'all a question. That's what I'm saying. Everything, everything you talking about is about money, money, no, money, money, money. It's not, not life is about, bro. Listen, 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 man. It's not what life not, is about. Money, money leaves your hand and it co- it comes in your hand. I understand that. What I'm telling you is. If a man can change his 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 name for ten generations back, that is a win automatically. And that's guaranteed. That's guaranteed. No, in Ben Simmons' case, he did. Guaranteed. You know, but, it's twelve people on each roster. Right. Twelve people on each roster. That's guaranteed. So you mean to tell me there's not way more athletic, way faster, way bigger, way stronger players? Than Steph Curry, but he somehow is on these twelve rosters, and he's arguably the top ten player in history. Yeah, he better than he better than he's more skilled than the, the athletes. But over skilled, us, yeah. skilled. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Nobody it ain't just about being. It point. ain't just genetics. Yeah, but he's genetics better than ours, though. First off, he, he has, who's he has to look. Steph Curry can you is, shoot? Can you right, shoot well? Absolutely. Can you shoot well? You, absolutely. Okay. So do you think? Do you think? Okay, let me let me put somebody. Okay, not to break up a bad point. Do you think Steph Curry is more athletic than Hitman? You'll be alive if you say you think he's more athletic than Hitman. He's better than Hitman, Gerald. He's everything more than Hitman. He's better. He's, he's not better. more athletic. He's better than right, everything. Man. He's All everything right. better than Hitman. Okay. Right. <laughs> Proving my I'm point. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, technically. You're my point. No, no, no. Technically, you're proving my point. No, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. Technically, he he could have backed Steph Curry up. It realistically, he probably could have. Joe. He could go at Steph Curry, Joe. Like if, if he really could have made it to where they was at, I could see that for sure. I could see that for sure. Yeah, he could have. He could have definitely been like. So all these, yeah. all these players in the G League and overseas and all that, yeah. all these people, but they not in the NBA. They not in the NBA, and you mm-hmm. think it's just genetics because they're more athletic. All right, can I give you? A, can I tell you something? On the court, right? Look, on the court. And since you brought up him, man, not to be a bad point or anything. That's my brother, right? On on the court, right? I asked him before, hey, how do you score like this? And my slightly inclined brother said, you know, I don't know. Okay, then when you think about it. Hey man is not overly athletic. Um, he's not overwhelming in size, but guarding the nigga is damn near impossible task for everybody I've seen. Like this NBA niggas, and when you ask him how does skilled. he do it, because he's skilled. You ask him how does, how does he do it, you say, I don't know. He just does that shit. But he's not like no, he's not an over the line athletic on the court or nothing like that. Yeah, I'm not either. I never have been. Who you? Never. Never in life. So have I you... been the most athletic? Have I been the strongest? Have I been uh, the quickest? None of that. Ever. Mm-hmm. Never. Mm-hmm. Not on any team I've ever been on in life has that been the case. 
All right, so what do you think? Okay, so I'm what? The smart, I'm the smartest person in the room. I outwork everybody, and I practice and perfect my skill. That's what it is. Okay, so without you being an NFL player. I wasn't even – I was probably the third or fourth biggest person on my high school team. Yeah, it's not about size. That's skill. We, you, we That's what first. you just said. That's what you've been saying this whole time. What are you Am talking I tripping? About? This yeah. is recorded. That's what dude. you've been saying this whole time. Is it, It's your athleticism dude. and it's dude. your size. You're a, dude, you're, look, and I keep saying, your size, regardless, is bigger than the normal human. It is. That's what I'm saying. It starts with us first. How do you know that you could be a pro? Okay, you got to be able to dominate the humans. He could dominate the humans. Okay, let's move him up. You got to start with dominating us. It's like a, even in battle rap, if you beat niggas on your street battling, mm -mm, mm -mm, that mm -mm. ain't no, nah, that ain't that. mean. It, it is what we doing. We're no, we're not. We're not talking battle rap. You can okay, right. right? All right, you're right. All right, look, you tripping, <laughs> right? Yeah, you bugging right. right now. I mean, you tried it with me with that other shit. So hey, hey, but no, I didn't bring up battle rap. You you brought up trauma, nigga. <laughs> All right, but check this out. At the end result, yeah, they still got to stand out. When you in a high school basketball team, the nigga that's the hype that got the D one hype is better than the rest of them. No, he's not. Most of no, the time, man. he has to be no, doing man. something. Why? <sighs> Because he's taller, that makes him better? I didn't, I didn't say that. I said if it's five niggas on a high school team, one of these niggas is going to have the hype on him for D1. Why? He's going to have something more than these niggas, right? He has hype. That doesn't make him good, man. You ain't ever seen no tall, soft, can't play dude. you like, man, god dang, what is your problem? You ain't ever did that? They don't get that far, girl. Okay. Name me one in either field. All right. You said high school, man. You said high school. You said high school. You asked me, have I ever saw that, right? In high school, you've never. Come on, man. We gonna I we gonna girl, act like we ain't ever seen no big dude in high school where y'all like, man. Did you hear what I, I said? One of them niggas is gonna get the hype on him because he's better than the other ones. That's what's gonna happen. He has to have some, even if it is his height. No, even if it is, no, no. Let's say, you said let, let's taller. Say it's you okay. said taller. But you did say you did say taller. better. Let's use taller. He's taller than the rest of them niggas. He's gonna get the hype. There it is. If he's seven, if feet, he ain't good. Listen, Gerald. If he is seven, if he's six eleven in high school, the first thing they gonna say is it's a six eleven nigga on the floor. It's a six eleven nigga down. He's bigger okay, than everybody. And then when the six two and the six two guard on the other team come dunk on him, then what? He's not. He's not okay. All right, man. Hey, I got shows to go through right, right now. So all right, I'm going to leave you to it. Hey, y'all keep listening to this if y'all want to. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> the, devil, the devil is not here, man. All right, man. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm leaving my people to the to the righteous people. Like, we getting on that Noah's Ark, baby. We getting on that Ark. It's simple, man. You got to be better than the normal nigga first. Like, right. how? How can we judge... Uh, how can we judge a girl on her beauty for real if she's around a bunch of okay girls? Let's see how she stands up when you put her in a room full of these. You put her in a room full of these, okay, she's a pro. That's, that's what that means. 100% the same thing. It, it's, it, it don't really, it has to add up that way. But am I tripping? Let me get this one. Am I tripping? Because that don't make sense. To me, that's 100% accurate with me. You got to be Somewhere down the line, something has to stand out first. And if, if you go look in a, a singing group, one of them girls is going to stand out. It got to be something about her that stands out first. What could it be? And this and this show is sponsored by Tom's Cookies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep hitting that inbox up. Keep your name inbox up. Get your product. Get your whatever you want advertised during the spaces. I come in a couple times a day, talk some shit with my people. You know.